Welcome back. I'm Matt McCutcheon in today for Scott Swan. The man convicted of planning the deadly 2012 Southside explosion is returning to court today. Mark Leonard is already serving time for his role in that explosion. Now he's facing a charge of conspiracy to commit murder. It's a charge his lawyers are fighting in court today. And Sandra Chapman is there with what happened in court. Sandra. Matt, a very alert Mark Leonard took to the witness stand in court three here inside the city county building this morning, here to tell a judge that he had been set up by a jail informant in this hitman case. Now, the the murder for hire scheme isn't just about an additional 20 to 50 years in prison for Leonard if he's convicted, but it's now one of the issues in Leonard's appeal in the Richmond Hill explosion case. According to the appeal, statements to the undercover officer posing as a hitman should not have been admitted because of Leonard's attorney was not present during questioning. For the first time in three years, Leonard spoke at length on the stand. Leonard talking about getting pills from the jailhouse informant saying, they made him extremely sleepy. He says the informant told him he could take care of Leonard's longtime friend, Mark Duckworth, who was a witness, and that after he made the call to undercover officers posing as the hitman, the jailhouse informant, quote, started jumping up and down like he was the happiest man in the world. Leonard says, I knew what he had done. He had me talk to a police officer. He had me set up. But what do you do about it, he said. Now, back here live, the case did end this morning without being concluded. In fact, it was a hearing on some motions. Uh, Leonard has since been transported back to the state prison in Michigan City, and the rest of this hearing will conclude in May. But again, what happens in this hitman case could, in fact, um, set up some uh, points for his appeal in the Richmond Hill explosion case. And we'll have much more coming up on Eyewitness News at 5 o'clock. Back to you, Matt.